What's going on guys? Chris with Journos, Comics and Pop Culture. I got a package today. We are going to do an unboxing. I'm excited. I hope everyone is uh, having a good day today. Let's just get right into opening this box up. This box is uh, from Midtown. I know I recently uh, had some, uh, you know, issues, but <laughs> this is a sale. I, and again, it's been, it's probably, shoot, been a while now because they take forever to ship for one and I don't even remember but um, I do believe this was uh, like a dollar sale or something that they had or it might be my previews from before the shutdown that I ordered so either or it could be one of these things but happy to be uh, able to open a box with you guys today um, yeah, man. Let's let's see what we got here. We got a nice bag of books. Let's move that aside and get into this. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So, oh yeah, this is not. This is not a um, previews order, so but I'm still waiting on I think two months of previews order that I ordered uh, before the shutdown. We'll see. I'm still having issues with my uh, subscription, my uh, mail subscriptions. You know the Amazing Spider-Man and Star Wars. They still have not sent me any issues. Uh, they said an uh, issue was supposed to be here like two weeks ago again. Oh man, but. I got some goodness here, so let's just go through these. We got some Moon Knight. And again, let me try to see how we can show these off with no glare. I might move this light aside here. There we go. That's a little better. Moon Knight number 38 from Mark Spector. The Mark Spector Moon Knight run. Some Punisher action. We got some Quasar. Number 23. There's that. We got... Oh, yeah. All right. We got Batman 92, the variant. Punchline. Who's the artist there? Is that Art Germ? That's Art Germ, isn't it? Let's make sure. Uh, well, never mind. It doesn't even have a front page uh, with all the stats, but I'm pretty sure that's Archer. That's his, that's his signature right there. I know his signature. Um, and uh, similar, similar style of the face, but he definitely uh, changed up, um, changed it up a little. I'll put that back in later. There it is, guys. The hot book. Batman 92. All right, what do we got? Ooh, some X-Men Adventures. Number three. I think that's uh, volume two. X-Men Adventures number two. Uh, I'm actually pressing up uh, X-Men issue. Uh, Uncanny number 221. First appearance of Mr. Sinister. We got some Warlock action. Let me see if I can rip this off so you guys can see the whole... Oh, well, that didn't work. I tried to rip the sticker off. This is Warlock. So this is technically the Volume 2, Number 5, I believe. So the 70s uh, Warlock was Volume 1, but then the, you had the Warlock um, in Warlock and the Infinity Watch. Um, but then this was the official Volume 2. Some more Moon Knight, Number 37. Well, that's a dope cover. Moon Knight number 27. Some more Moon Knight. Let's try to rip this one off. I tell you guys, I hate these stickers that they put on. I really wish they would put them on the back, but yep, that one's not ripping off either. Uh, Moon Knight number 10. So I did, uh, yeah, so I did my, my, my previews order with, um, my comic shop 
I'm not doing previews orders with um, Midtown anymore. We'll see how my comic shop handles it. They have... Uh, that one almost ripped off all the way. We're like number four. Uh, my comic shop has $5 flat rate shipping for your previews orders, whereas Midtown has increased their shipping. Um, their base shipping that used to be $3.99 is now like $5.99. Plus, they do some weird thing where even if you get your preview shipped once a month, it's, I don't know, like I said, they when I did my last, when I tried to put all my preview orders in the cart the last time, uh, we're like number two, they uh, they tried to charge me 11, like $11 for, for shipping, the shipment of like 12 books. And I'm like, this is BS, man. And I went and did the same order with my comic shop and it was $5. So I was like, yep, I didn't, I didn't put the Midtown order in. And I put the my comic my comic shop order in, but here's number one of Warlock Volume Two. So you know, I mean, uh, my Midtown has awesome sales, you know, uh, and that's what this is right here. And uh, you know, maybe I'll keep using them for certain things, but between the previews going over to my comic shop, and then between the issues with how they're handling the Marvel subscriptions, I'm like, really, guys, I got a couple more. <laughs> Couple more Warlock and the Infinity Watch number ones. I have about six copies of that now, I believe. Those are nice copies. Uh, here's Warlock Volume Two number three. Yeah, I'm telling you, these these labels just. Oh, look at that! Another <laughs> Warlock. In the Infinity Watch number one. So what do I have? Like seven now? I love that book. I love it. I'm specking hard on it. It's retirement. We got Avengers number uh, 324. Avengers Spotlight number 25. Awesome cover. Nothing big here, guys. Obviously, just a bunch of modern stuff. Legends of the Dark Knight, number, what is that, 64? A book that, uh, uh, I mean, a run that uh, my son wants to start reading. He just finished reading year one, and he loved that. Oh, I, this is for him. I have two different copies of this. I have the, I think the pink and the, like, the teal covers. So here's the, the yellowish-orange uh, Legends of the Dark Knight, number one. That is for my son, um, for him to start reading this uh, run. All right, what do we got next? We got some Superman Volume 2, number 28. Superman Volume 2, number 15. Superman Volume 2, number 14. Superman Volume 2, number 8. My Superman Volume 2 run is looking pretty decent lately. Superman Volume 2, number 7. Superman Volume 1, number 339. The black DC logo with the red around it. That's different. All right, we got Avengers number 319. As you guys could probably tell from this haul, I am a collector of runs. 320, and I'm just basically filling holes in some runs. And the last book is Avengers 333, my lucky number 33. 333, so... There it is, guys. That is my mail call, comic call for today. It has been fun uh, being able to have some uh, unboxings and some hauls to show you guys over the last few weeks. I know it hasn't been anything crazy, but it's a little something. I, I still look for bargain hunts to uh, spend a, a little money and get some books for like a dollar each. Um, and whoa. Without um, having my uh, shops open, you know, without having A1 Comics here to have their 50% off sales, man, which is usually where I'll go raid 
the back issue bins and you know get a whole bunch of stuff for for half off and this is usually what I'll come away with stuff like this I mean uh, I mean this is more modern um, I, I you know my focus over the last few years has been heavily on you know Bronze Age stuff for the most part but at least I'm able to get something in and uh, you know get some some reading in I want to read start reading this um, Warlock Volume 2 run since I have like what one through I don't know one through five now and it's a short run uh, I don't even I think it only goes to like six or seven issues if that so absolutely all right guys and I got my first appearance of punchline I did order a 98 but I ordered that with my previews order that I still haven't gotten the mail yet so yeah but beautiful cover for sure all right guys that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please do so I appreciate you all and until next time